Hey guys, how's it going? Solo back with another daily update video. And coming at you a little bit early, we are currently still in power hour. It's 3 p.m. Eastern time, but I wanted to get this video out early today. Taking a look at the heat map here, you can see overall green day, but really it's a turnaround day because we'll take a look at the AMD graph here and the market was not green. In fact, for the majority of the day, up until I would say maybe about an hour ago, we were in the red. So big tech, kind of flat, right? Amazon, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Apple, all flat. Semis also pretty much flat, right? Nothing is really moving more than a percent or so. And taking a look at the other boards, you know, healthcare stocks, healthcare stock, diagnostic, medical, a lot of green on the board in terms of that. I think some of that might be on vaccine or illness news. I mean, take a look at Pfizer here. Pfizer up 3.4%. I think that was based off a of news catalyst. But let's get right into it. Keep this video on the shorter side. So here's AMD. You can see choppy day today. We were up green in the pre-market, immediately sold off right when the market opened within the first five minutes. And then we slowly rallied back. And so what I did was because I thought that again, we were gonna rally up and then trade flat. I sold a cash good put. I opened up another position at the $75 strike price for next Friday. My hope was that once we kind of hit one of these dips that we were just gonna to continue to rally and then have flat day. But we did dip unfortunately afterwards. So my cash grip put was actually in the red. But as you can see, as I'm making this video, we did rally pretty considerably. It looks like we're still dipping a little bit, but that's okay. Today was pretty much a theta gang day because it was a flat day in the market, which is what you like to see because you just let time decay eat away at your premiums. So I should still be profitable on that option as we make this video, but let's take a look. So I sold the cash you could put all the way down here at the $75 strike and I sold it for $26. It's currently trading for $19. So I'm already up $7 on the trade. I will most likely just ride this out to max profit next Friday, hopefully. And hopefully I will not get assigned more shares of AMD. But if I do, it will lower my overall cost basis of AMD because my other shares were assigned at 85. Now, I was comfortable with this because at the time, this was giving me roughly a 0.4% return on my risk. If we get $26, which is what I collected for 7,500 in collateral, that leaves me with a 0.35% return on your risk. So very, very close to 0.4%. Like I said, I wasn't trying to be greedy, just trying to make some extra money on the side here because why not? I have a little bit of free capital left. And I did take a look at the trading view chart. So let's get right into it on AMD here. And really, you know, it was kind of a day similar to yesterday. Not a lot of movement pretty much from where we're going to open the day and where we're going to close the day. You can see the intraday movement was pretty high, the distance between the wicks. But really, during the trading day, not a lot of movement. And both days, yesterday and today, you can see we got very close to the 50-day moving average, which is right around $82. So I definitely thought that in a week's trading time, that $75 strike, which is all the way down here, was going to be safe. The only way AMD could get down that far would have to be on some very, very bad news overall in the market or very, very bad news on AMD in general. Because to do that, we would have to break past this pink line, which is the 50-day moving average. We'd also have to break past the orange line, which is the 21-day moving average this area of support at about $81, this area of support at about $78, and also this Fibonacci level down here. And we'd have to come awfully close to this area of support at about $74. So we would have to do all of that in a week. And if I just zoom out here, we haven't traded for 75 in quite some time. I mean, basically since the end of September until we had this big kind of rally up. But again, you know, even for those few days that we were trading there in September, if we go back to about August, we were always trading in the high 70s, low 80s. So I think it's gonna be a stretch for me to get assigned more shares of AMD. But like I said, if I do get a little bit nervous, I could close them out. But like I said, I'm gonna let them ride because it's just the free, hopefully, quote unquote free, $26 of extra premium that I can collect. Now, I, want, I wanted to open more covered calls today, but as we can see, AMD did not have a green day that I was hoping for. And in fact, the overall market just kind of flat. So if you saw my video from last night, you saw there were a lot of puts that were got bought on SPY. So I really thought we were gonna have a red day, to be honest with you. But I guess a flat day is as close to a red day as you can get because we still weren't green. 
but I'm looking forward to a green day on Monday. For the past few weeks and months, historically, Mondays have been green the vast majority of the time. So if we gap up Monday, or if AMD opens up pretty green, then I will probably sell my covered calls on Monday. And I was taking a look at the options chain. Let's go back here to it again. And I will tell you, the option premiums for October 30th were extremely juicy. I mean, just take a look. If you wanted to open up some cash good puts, you would collect $413 for $8,300 in collateral. That is a return on risk of almost 5%, which is very good. And that's because that week, AMD has its earnings coming up and also their new GPU launch event is the next day. Earnings are on the 27th. The GPU event is on the 28th. So I am definitely gonna be looking at opening up some covered calls early next week. And I was really looking again at the $90 strike price because right now, if I were to open these, I could collect, if I went to sell a call at $90, I could collect $195 in premium. So just to do a calculation on that, $195 divided by 8,500 in collateral, which is what I have tied up in each contract essentially, that would be a return on capital of 2.3% in basically two weeks if I held them out to expiration, which is very good, very good. I mean, that would average out to a little over 1.1% a week. So nothing to kind of shake your stick at. So I am really hoping that AMD gaps up green Monday or goes more green because then this premium value is just gonna go up. So I am really looking forward to that because I could potentially collect $5 in stock appreciation if my shares get called away because I own them at 85, I'd have to sell them at 90, plus a few hundred dollars in premiums. And honestly, the market has been so tenuous lately that I partly do want my shares to get called away because I think I could get in at a potentially lower cost basis than I was assigned at initially. So I don't want to set my strikes too far out so that I don't get my shares called away, but then I also don't want to leave a lot of money on the table. So I thought $90 was a good kind of middle ground. Again, if we go back to the trading view graph here, you can see AMD's all time high is about $94. We recently topped out just shy of $90 here back on October 8th. We haven't actually been in the 90s. I mean, we were there for a hot minute. We were there for basically three trading days from August 31, September 1, and September 2. And then we really haven't been in the 90s since then. So I do think $90 is a stretch, but we have two big catalysts that week with earnings and the GPU event that could get AMD to $90. But the kicker is earnings are on a Wednesday. The GPU event is on a Thursday. My options expire the next day, Friday. So that Friday, there's gonna be a ton of implied volatility crush or IV crush. So most likely, I'm just gonna set these options and forget them and just let whatever happens happens because I think I have the potential to get max profit and hold on to my shares, but I think AMD will still get up to the mid 80s. So that's my plan going into the weekend and for the next trading week. Let me know how your week went. Hopefully you ended up green in the week. I was overall green. I didn't make as much money as I could have, but I did secure some gains yesterday. Like I said, I opened up some, what I consider to be pretty safe cash gear puts today. Let's just take a look at the option flow data on AMD today to see what that shows. So here's the option flow data for today so far on AMD. You can see it's pretty much 50-50 calls and puts. The red boxes are puts, the green boxes are calls. And you can see a lot of these are October expiration for actually next Friday. And a lot of the October 23s are actually puts. So it seems like people are a little bit bearish on AMD next week, which is fine by me because then if I sell my covered calls Monday morning, then those calls are gonna fade to decay and also decay because of Delta over the week. And I can secure, hopefully, more profit each day. And if I really wanted to, I could close them out and sell more covered calls at a lower strike if this pans out. But the interesting thing is that next week, there are a lot of puts being bought. But if you look at November 20th, there's some big call orders, actually over $200,000 each. And then actually somebody bought some more calls for the following Friday, October 30th, early this morning. So 50-50 split, like I said, 
doesn't really bother me that much because either way, I'm still gonna be profitable. Either way, I'm still gonna most likely ride these covered calls out to expiration when I get into them next week. But yeah, we'll have to see what happens. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you're not in our Discord server already, make sure you get in there. And as always, happy trading.